everyone, Jeremy here from Flyware Creations. Um, today we're going to be making airplane tie clips. You need some forks. You need some fork or spoon handles. Perfect, nice and flat. So we need our wing to come up here. about three and three quarter inches. We got our clip, we got our airplane. Now we need some wings. I made a template. I didn't like that one, so I went with this one. <laughs> like that and this one looks proportionate that's why I made a few Whenever I put my handpiece in the vise, I always turn it on first because if you tighten this too much, it'll crush the motor inside or the shell. So you can hear the ch sound change. So you need it just snug so it's not gonna move. So I use the pliers to help me get my ends flat because this piece heats up a lot and I used it to take off the burrs on the side just zip, flip it over and zip okay so we have all of our pieces now okay so I have a pot of water I have my 8 inch curved nose forceps we need to get this piece bent and the way that I made the other one I had the plane out here on the outside or on the big side and I really like that but my customer wants it on this side so that the plane is pretty much hidden or that the spoon is pretty much hidden so, we're going to do this kind of backwards. So, we were at three and three quarter inches ish. So, middle is about one and three quarters ish. Ish is a technical term. 
proven. Just some thick leather. Now normally I would go with the small end up, put my finger right on the line, and put it right down here, and then I bend it over. But we're going backwards. So I'm gonna take my big end. So you can use the snap ring pliers or pipe, but I have some graduated pliers. Just gonna put this on the small side. Use my rubber end. So normally I would go this side up. up. I need it to go down because I need this to stay flat. So here's what's gonna happen here, is you're gonna see this top piece, which is normally the underside. It's gonna go down, and it's gonna get a dent, and then it's gonna pop back up. So watch the end here. I'm hitting it right about here. See how it just came down and out? That's what we want. It's gonna help us be able to get this behind the tie and it's snug. Normally, this would be on the front. And you could do this either way, but just make sure that it's, um, if I had to give you a measurement for the gap, it's about the thickness of a small, small teaspoon. Um, yeah, it's really ish. Just, and if somebody needs to, they can take a screwdriver at home and twist and open it up, or they take a hammer and they can just hammer it down. So, this is the part that we want straight and flat. Okay. So after making a whole bunch of these, I have this figured out. So, this piece here, the tie clip, the small end, it needs to go on the tie from right to left. I'm right-handed, a lot of people are right-handed, so we're just gonna do this. So the nose of the plane needs to be just over the tip there so that it's hidden. Because what we're gonna try and do is hide this whole stem piece. So, here's what we do. So, this is all flat. Make sure you got the right sides. So right now I'm looking for air between the fork and the spoon handle. And there's quite a bit of air in there. So I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna hit this a couple more times. I'm just putting leather over the top of it. One more hit right there. Now 
That's better. So we're trying to close the gap because what we're gonna do is we're gonna sweat solder this. So I want to solder from the bottom side. So I've got it closed. The tip of the airplane, the nose of the airplane is out a little bit further than the piece in the back. Handy dandy torch. So you gotta get it all hot. just about there. Probably a little overkill with the solder. So for our next piece, for the wing, we need anything that will make this wing stick to the solder. So this is just a paste flux. So our plane's on there nice. I can see solder, real thin line of solder on the top. Pliers are still hot. So I'm gonna take this, put just a tiny little dot on there. Grab some small piece of solder. That's about where I want the wing. Make sure the wings go in the right direction. There's a little slant. Kind of angle it the way that you want it to go. Most of this is just going to be focused on the wing. and I'm waiting for that solder to sink. And if you get a little bit of solder somewhere, you don't want it, take a piece of leather after you heat it up and kind of flick it right out of there. So we'll get this in the water, get our torch put away. for a second. All right, so we got our airplane. So we're gonna take this piece right here, right at the bottom of the wing, and I'm gonna taper it down. Yeah. 
So this is tapered down here. Curve my edges. Now I'm gonna go to sanding wheel or disc. I'm gonna get this black flux out of here. So that was an 80 grit. I'm gonna go up to 400 grit now. I just like getting that stuff out of there. Quick. Alrighty. So, normally, at this point, I would put it in the tumbler and let it tumble for a while. Uh, but for this, I did uh, the high shine part on that last wheel, so you guys can see the finished product. So we got a nice little airplane. It's trying to fly away. There we go. Awesome. So I guess I hope you guys all had fun watching this. Um, the biggest part is this little curve. Normally that would be on the short side because you'd want this side flat, like my fork. That's the front. Oop. So this is the front, it will go on the tie. And the back, you can see has that ridge. And it's the same thing, as long as you have something right here holding that and it's gonna get held. Just like this. Your pliers aren't gonna be up here. You want them laying flat so that whenever you hit here, it bounces down, and at the same time, once it bounces down, it kind of curls this end up. And generally, it's about the same size that you'll need. But you can hit it further back here after and get that to close right down. Glasses are fogging up. Um, so, I hope that helps you guys. And keep making. If you're new to our channel, please hit subscribe. Also, click the bell and select all so you get all of our updated videos as soon as they come out.